sometimes you capture voices that weren't there answering your questions. And they say one out of every five EVP is a menacing message telling you to leave, get out. Heavenly Father, please protect us from all seen and unseen presence, good and evil. Please keep us surrounded by your protective energy. Keep all spirits here safe during our investigation. We will not destroy or deface anything that might offend any spirits. And we would like to help from the spirit world in our investigations with us by allowing us to take pictures and video of all paranormal activity. Amen. It would be very interesting to know how many people did die with, inside the walls. I have no idea. There's n not necessarily a record of it, which is, um, I guess, is par for the course. You know, so many people go through the system. Some are bound to fall through the cracks. I want to say 1909, 1908, Georgia Rock and William Hayes uh, split the throat of the deputy warden. And the warden came to his rescue and uh, shot and wounded both inmates. And uh, he himself had a gash to his neck that required 108 stitches. He survived and then later they hung both inmates here in the prison yard and made all the uh, inmates watch as a deterrent. Miles or Smart, are you here? Rock or Hayes, are you here? How about Deputy Warden Rothy? Are you here also? Is there any other spirits here that would like to contact us? The times that we're here, generally, we find quite a bit of evidence or activity. Whether we capture it on tape, audio, you know, cameras. There seems to be a lot of personal experiences and uh, it's a good place to take new people to the group. Uh, there isn't a high level of danger, you know, occasionally somebody might experience something, but uh, on the whole it's a, it's a pretty safe place to be and there's a lot of activity so it's a good place to go to ghost hunt. It's a place where there's so much energy, what you call residual energy, you know, any place that has absorbed that much energy is bound to retain some of it. We might know some of the horrible incidents, the 1959 riot, the two guys who died in the tower there. You know, you might expect that they might, you know, come back. That's weird. Are you trying to talk to us? What was that? Are you trying to talk to us? Uh, that's a negative. We are just out here in Max trying to get the door to close. Uh, didn't say a damn thing to you. Because my walkie-talkie keeps going real staticky and nobody else's. Yeah, that's not. Okay, we're in the cell house then. Uh, I get scared every single time I do this. Uh, I'm not going to pretend like I don't because I do. I, I guess I do it because it's it's cool. It's it's definitely it's it's something that I've always wanted to you know I want to be the first person to prove something exists. People tell me all the time that they don't believe ghosts actually exist, and you know I'm wasting my time. But you know when you're there in a place and you get an answer to a question that you ask in an empty room, you know it kind of makes you wonder if there's more to it than what you know what is known out there. So it it definitely it's I think it's the mystery and things. It's something that you know it keeps me going, and the adrenaline rush is absolutely incredible. She doesn't think that it was all real, so it would be nice if you could show yourself so we could record on film or we can hear your voice. My main interest really peaked when my uh, father died in 98. I kind of lost my faith in that they're, you know, questioning whether or not there was an afterlife or not. And so we just started doing this to see if I could find, just basically for myself, if there is life 
out there after death. This is, we're trying to contact whatever spirit is here, entity. We know what you are, we know who sent you. The only thing we want to know is what is your name and your rank. You scare Mary all the time. We have eight or nine people here for you to scare. We would like you to come out and scare one of us right now. Touch somebody. Uh, we want to have proof of your existence. Is there anything you would like to say to us? Now is it the time to be hiding from us? Now is the time to present yourself so we can see you and document you that you're here. Okay, we will be back to see you.